Hello everybody and welcome back to Mountain Blade Bannerlord. So I did a hell of a lot of grinding. I think I played this game for about four hours in between episodes, but nothing crazy happened, don't worry. Literally just stupid amounts of fighting, stupid amounts of XP gained, stupid amounts of money gained from quests. So I got 27,000 gold. So we're gonna go and buy a caravan and then I can, I'll have be financially secure for the rest of the episode as well. Not like last episode, that was an absolute disaster at the end financially, so. Um, this is where our characters are. Also, they did a patch for the game where they added loads of new armors into the game. And sweet Jesus, they are so cool. Because um, the armors that I was looking for aren't, weren't actually in the game. They were only multiplayer, but now they've added them. So now I look like this. And just, what? look at this. This is just crazy, like, cool to look at. So I also have a new sword, which basically... Um, it is a one-handed and a two-handed, so you can use it with a shield one-handed, and you can actually take it out and use it two-handed as well. Um, so it's very versatile, and I want to use that for sieges, because, um, you know, so much arrow fire in sieges, I can only imagine. So, you know, I want to do that. I want to use this for now, and if it turns out to be really bad, I'll just see if I can find the Thamaskine Steel Sword again, um, hopefully. But anyway, yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I got 61 influence from fighting all these battles, and my party... I mean, you could pause it and have a look for yourself, but I have a lot of really nice units and I actually have a lot of horsemen as well. And I'm actually going to turn the difficulty down as well on the player receive damage. Um, just purely only receive damage. I think it'll be more fun for me, more fun for you, purely because it's just more enjoyable for everybody at that point. And, you know, it's more enjoyable for me to play because I'm not getting one-hitted. Um, it's more enjoyable for you to watch because I'm not dying all the time in battle. I'm having you watching more engaging, you know, uh, like combat. So, you know, and you can still easily get overwhelmed. I haven't changed the damage to any of my men. So if I'm not tactically aware, I will still get beaten in battle if I'm not aware. So it's, uh, we have to be really, you know, kind of still really careful and savvy. So let's go and find... Actually, I don't know why I'm going through here. Let's just... And we're actually going to go and uh, join an army and fight. So I don't know where any armies are, but I'm going to go and find one. And we're just going to, and hopefully they're going to go and siege something. And we're going to go and get straight into it with our lords and start working for Britannia, you know. You want to form a caravan? 15,000. Absolutely. Um, I kind of skipped through the dialogue then. I didn't mean to. Um, and blood axe. Yeah, we'll get blood axe in there to form it. Okay, interesting. It takes a follower off you. Mm, it's a bit annoying. Cool, right. So that is going to... So from, from what I've heard, caravans cost you money initially to actually set up the trade route. And then once it's set up, they uh, start making you money. So apparently it takes a while as well. So we'll start losing some money, I think. So let's head down here. Um, I don't know. Kalador created in Remtoil. So let's head down to Remtoil then. Who, of course, we want to be a part of that sort of siege uh you know that sort of group Ooh, melodia i like melodia let's join his army and funnily enough he is the father of withuin uh, the woman that uh, uh uh bledry likes so ironically i actually liked the guy before i knew he was uh he was her father so let's join the army so now basically how this system works is that there are five parties in here so five parties like my own and then we all conform into this one huge army and go out to go and get something and it looks like Varcheg's our target and I think Varcheg might be the capital of the Sturgeons I'm not sure but oh my god that's going to be a major siege battle if that's the case that's going to be insane oh my god yep we're going for it we're going for Varcheg holy shit dude th th this is going to be huge this battle is going to be massive then because Varcheg's a major major city as well. It's a major, major settlement. So I'm curious how we're going to go about this. How many people are inside it? There are 257 defenders against our 382. So they have a militia of 143. Press Alt for more info. So they've got 80 infantry, 63 range, troop types, Sturgeon Militia Spearmen, and Sturgeon Militia Archer. And then we've got a garrison in here. So they have... Interest. They have one berserker in there. They have a, some bowmen, mostly infantry by the looks of it. So, interesting. 
And then we've got Vidar's party, who have a bunch of really wounded soldiers. He's barely adding anything to the garrison, so... We're besieging, so we're building the siege camp, and then from there, I've seen what the, like, the pre-siege phage, uh, phage, phase is like. Well, I've seen what a siege is like, because obviously from the gameplay demos of the game came out. But basically, you can see these little squares here. You can create... You can create, like, your siege engine. So, like, siege towers, battering rams, uh, trebuchets, things like that. And they build their own as well. They can build their own within the city, and then they can actually shoot us in this pre-siege phase and destroy our equipment, I believe, so really interesting this is gonna be insane oh look it's just built all our little defenses and stuff and we're building a battering ram actually interesting oh we can speed this up good oh the anticipation's building we're we are gonna be in the thick of it as well we are just gonna be leading the charge with our soldiers And it looks like they have catapults on the walls. Which isn't good for us. And we've got a siege tower built. And they're actually, we're building a cat, an onager. Oh, not a trebuchet, an onager, okay. Onagers are effective against enemy siege engines as well as walls. Okay. So I think we're gonna, I think what our guys are gonna try and do is build these catapults and like shoot their catapults. And they have three on the walls. Oh yeah, look, see? Oh, we destroyed one of theirs. Interesting. And we're building another catapult, actually. What I'm worried about is that another lord's going to come along. Another big army of lords is going to come along and ambush us from the side. And then, the, and then the, I believe the, they can sally out from the castle and attack us, too. You better destroy that. What are, what are the catapults shooting at? We're just building catapults over and over again. Yep, we're building another one. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. Oh, shit. Here we go. This is going to be insane. It's going to be real dangerous, too. We need to be, like, quite careful before we actually get into the fight. But I plan on I plan on getting my kill count up there. We must. We have to, to you know, to fulfill the, you know, the Wolf King. Oh, Jesus. Look at this settlement. So there's the gate. That our battering ram is going to go to. And we've got a siege tower, which I can only assume is going to go here. Since there's a gap there. And we have... Yeah, so here's our battering ram and our siege tower. Our catapult over here. And we actually have some other things that we could have built if we wanted to. So, alright. Let's begin assault. I don't think I have control of any of the troops in this battle because of the... So Let's get off this horse. Yeah, I have no control over any troops. So we're going to take the fight to the walls. We're going to charge the walls. So as you can see, I can use this sword. Oh, Sayer's pushing the tower. So it's real dangerous pushing the towers, though, because you literally have no... You're exposed. Let's get behind this. Bledu's no coward, but he's not a fool either. He knows when to take cover. We can use the siege tower as cover. But look at all these men! We're taking some hits already, as to be expected. Oh shit, the catapult! Oh my god, they destroyed our battering ram. This isn't a good start. Oh, look at all those men over there! Hopefully they don't destroy our siege tower. Oh, Ose is down. We're taking all the hits here. There's some of our archers over there. Damn, there's so... You can see them all running around the walls. I wonder what that group, big group of infantry is doing over on the right there. Yeah, our siege tower is getting hit as well. Come on. We can do it. A lot of people are getting hit here. Come on. We're almost there. Our siege... No! They destroyed our siege tower as well. 
We're gonna push then to the left. Oh, to the right, sorry, not the left. This isn't a good start. I wonder where we're pushing now. Oh, this ladder's here. Uh oh, this is gonna get bloody. Oh God, look, they're marching up. Oh my God. Oh, I got him. I got him. <laughs> right, up we go. Let's move with me, man. Sneak it up on us. Oh, they'll. We need to get to there. They're shooting us in the back. So bloody. Jesus. We have reinforcements coming in. Oh, here we go. They're getting up there now. Here we go. Yeah, look at... Oh, my sweet Jesus. Look at all those bodies. I think they're running. We won. No, they they may destroy our siege engines, but they will never destroy our courage. We just marched up those ladders and just, they slaughtered a lot of us, but we slaughtered them. Yeah, they're just running now. Is there no one? No, there's no one charging. Yeah, look, they're just all running. They're all regathering here. Now our men are going to go and slaughter them.
Yeah, here's some of our men here with our banner. We did it! We beat them! And I know I died, but come on, that was pretty cool. Like, charging on the walls, up on the walls and just killing loads of people. I got 10 kills in that. I'm really happy with that. The Fian champions got 39 kills. It looks like... Hang on. My party got the most kills. My party got the most kills by a large... So my party killed 76 of them. And then all the other parties, they didn't, they didn't even reach 40. So my party did a lot of the, the legwork on that. And it looks like we lost three clan warriors, three wood runners, a veteran folksman, unfortunately, but this is the way of war. And a couple of mounts and a highborn youth. But So we fared pretty well in that. Oh my god, look, and I can now just back up my the ones I lost with this. Sturgeon? Uh, uh, no, no, I don't want that, actually. Oh, these are prisoners. Never mind. I thought they were all for some reason. And look at all this loot. Take all. Damn. Varchek has been taken by an army of which you are a member. Look at that. We've got Varchek now. Crazy. That was so fun. That was unbelievably fun. Just to march with all the men and our siege and battering ram. It, it made it really interesting having our... Oh, look at Caladog. Do we dare do another siege? We've got a couple of Fian champions. Britannian horse... Uh, what's it called? Horseman. Britannian Folksman. God damn, that was insane. Let's join Caladog's army. So, it's nowhere near... I don't think it's near as big, but we need to actually heal up a bit. Oh, well, I'm sure we will. So, let's have a look. Oh, our caravans make it a 700? Oh, my God. But it's costing us 233 to pay him interesting and i did change it to a wool weavery rather than a woodwork but it seems to be making us less money so and here we go we got another siege. two sieges in one episode it's really picked up now because the wolf king thirsts for war he wants to strike down the sturgeons and gain land we've only got 44 percent health so we're going to be a bit more careful on this one We, led, we did lose some men, but it's just the way of sieges. You're going to lose people. You need to accept it before you go in. This is crazy. So what do we have built here? We have a battering ram like before and a catapult. Do they have any siege engines? Because I don't want our shit getting broke again. Here we go. This is a lot more open as well, actually. Let's get off our horse. Do we join the siege tower and try and get in there, actually? It looks like there's people on the right going to ladders as well. Yep, they have a catapult. They're probably going to destroy our battering ram then. We need to go over straight to the ladders just in case we fail. It looks like they're not really shooting at us right now. Ooh! You can see the arrows in the snow. Let's keep that shield up just in case. Let's get our throwing axes out. Maybe we could get a couple of kills on the wall. But that was so badass in the last siege. I like threw an axe and killed an archer. And then I charged up the walls and killed loads more. Oh, look. Interesting. The ladders aren't up yet. We need to put the ladders up. They can't out-archer off the on champions, so. Come on. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put these ladders up. Oof. Ha lift. 
Come on, man. Ah. Bastard. Come on. I need a bit of help here. There we go. Get up those ladders, you dogs! For Britannia! I'm actually making it. Damn it. Oh my, I turned my back for one second. Let's move in, let's move in. Oh, this is so dangerous. I feel so vulnerable. Oh, look at this choke point here as well. I bet you anything those spikes do damage if you walk into them as well. Let's use the cover of the battering ram. Oh, yikes, the frame drops though. I wouldn't be surprised if I got killed here right now. Get up into a corner somewhere we could defend. Come on, boys. Take that gate down. I'm trying to make Bledgy like show that he has no fear in battle. He's just gonna go in no matter what his status is. King or vassal or lord or peasant, he shall charge in without fear what's the gate at one more one more here we go in you go lads they back up a bit I believe just so they stay so while we batter this gate down oh god I don't have a throwing axe anymore. Run while you can. You oh god. They let a couple in to try and dissuade us. Oh, these archers are nasty up here. Look at that. You can hear them fighting on the walls. Oh my god. You know, cowards! They ran inside the keep. They're fighting. They're, they're, they're finishing off the last ones there. Ah ha! Look at the cowards run. No! He got that. Of course, he picked me out of everybody. did it. We lost seven men that time. A skirmisher, a woodrunner, another veteran falksman, train spearman. We lost our young wolf. 
Another <laughs> a regular Folksman. A Fion champion. Oh, that one burns. Yikes. Yep, I know I'm over my limit of prisoners. I do need to sell them. And then let's just take all of this. Cranorog Castle has been taken by an army of which you remember. Look, we're just give it. We're just right. I need to give my men a breather and um, needs to head up to Varcheg. Right, we've got a foothold here now. We just need to push on it. We've already. We just did it. We just dealt massive blows to the Sturgeons. We need to take Omor next. Or well, actually, probably uh, Raviel and this castle here, just so we can seal off that that kind of area. But I don't know, maybe Omor, because that would kind of cut off Raviel from reinforcements, and then it'll just cut them off, because they've only got that passageway there to use. Right, let's, take, let's trade in our prisoners. And we'll get 500. Oh my god, our caravan's making us over a thousand. We're making 794 coin a day now. Finally, the days of being ruined are gone. Financially ruined are gone. Veteran warrior's axe. That was so badass. We had a couple of badass moments during that then. Let's sell all that. We get 10,000 gold. Are you shitting me? Let's see what's in here, actually. Have they got any new armor? Because obviously I haven't been in here yet. Oh, wow. 47. Let's have a look at this. Looks very Viking. That's 40,000 gold. They also redid a lot of the financial stuff as well. Look at that. That looks quite cool, actually, the gold scales against our silver ones. It's a bit more armor, but only a little, so. Northern leather to bard. Northern plated gloves, not as good as that was. Interesting. 10,000. That's unreal. I do actually need to get more um, green. Cost 20 a piece here. God damn. But we have the coin. <laughs> okay, wow. We need to heal up a bit and let our troops recuperate. Urgian created an army. Oh, are they attacking Omor as well? I need to. Re I need to get my health up. I'm expecting a counter siege here as well. To be honest, so. And there's only 130 of us in here. So if we got attacked, that would be really, really... I think we'd all get killed. Wow, I just made 640. Wow, okay. Caravans are the way to go, people. Right, enough resting. Let's head to Omor and see if we can help him out over there. Because if we can get Omor... Oh my god, the Sturgeons are screwed. Actually, let's look at the kingdom screen. And look at how we're doing against... Oh, so we made peace with the Azurai. Oh my god, the Azurai's numbers have gone down significantly. They must have lost some land or something. Or we must have ruined them in the in the war. Unless they were fighting somebody else. They were probably fighting the Kuzates or something. Oh wow, so they've actually inflicted more casualties on us. But we've done three successful sieges against them. And we've done 21 successful raids. Or is this casualties inflicted? Is this the amount that we caused to the Sturgeons? Or is this the amount the, Sturge the Sturgeons have ca caused to us? But again, they're a lot lower in number than us. I'm really curious to see if um, Omor... Yeah, Omor's being taken. Look, there's a siege tower there and a battering ram. Oh, God. Oh, God. Olex army. I wonder if it started already. Oh, they're in the fight right now. Let's help them. Oh, sweet Jesus. Let's save. 
Okay, just because I want the re like a really awesome siege experience, I'm going to turn it down to very easy just for this siege, just to have a really good time with this one. Let's attack. Let's go. These months that pass by are months the Sturgeons will never forget. So we have a catapult over here as well. Hopefully they don't destroy our... Hopefully they don't destroy anything going up here. So, oh, wow, look at that. That's nasty, that is. God, the Sturgeons have really neat-looking castles, just, like, for from a tactical standpoint as well. All right, let's do this again. Oh, look at that siege tower. It's nowhere near as tall as other ones. Let's move with the troops here. Come on, men! Soldiers! Oh, I actually have soldiers with me now. Follow me! Soldiers, follow me, yes! My infantry's following me. Infantry! Form a wall! Arrows! Move! Arrows set up there, behind the cover. Cavalry! Follow me! There's all of our cavalry here. Have we got our whole party in here? Cavalry. Actually, I'm going to delegate command. Sergeants in charge. I'm going to let the cavalry do their thing and help out the battering ram. Come on, man. Look, my soldiers are following me. My sp specifically my party as well. Archers. Sergeants, take command. They can use my archers, it's fine with me. Oh, that was awkward. I, that's awkward again. Haven't taken a single hit yet, so we're looking good. Obviously, optimization's a thing. Um, it's probably gonna improve as early access goes on, but right now we're running at pretty good frame rate, so. Right, this is where it's going to start getting a bit hairy. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. Footman! Push that down. Oh my god, I suck. Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, okay, this isn't good. Whoa! Whoa! Here we go. I 
I would have been dead so long ago. Anyone else up here cowering? We did it! <laughs> God damn. That was badass. Just charging in there. I don't know. I've seen to. I've really struggled then. Um, blocking. I don't know why. Every time I went up for an up block, I accidentally did a left one. It's really. You have to be so specific with your mouse movement when you're blocking. But aside from that, I would have been dead long ago if, uh, if I didn't up down the, uh, uh, you know, damage. But that was probably a lot more enjoyable to watch because of it. So... God, he stares at his enemy's blood on his hands and thinks today was a good day. We lost a couple of clan warriors, another Fian champion, a highborn warrior and a highborn youth. You arrived just in the nick of time, Bledger. You may you you have my deepest thanks. No problem. Cool. So we're fit we're sitting at 47 men right now after all that. So but we have just absolutely put the sword to the Sturgeons, like it's unreal how much damage we've done to them. Another 2k. Oh, there's a tournament. Let's just play a tournament just because we can. Oh my god. That was insane. Three sieges in this one battle. Oh wait, I need to put the difficulty back up, don't I? <laughs> uh, no. Oh, you can't do it. We're too late. Never mind. Oh no, I can't turn the difficulty up. What will I do? Of course I'm going to just take advantage of that real quick. <laughs> Just die, will you? Oh, I don't have good health. God damn it. I do this every time, but luckily I've got easy, very easy difficulty on right now. So, Although the game is still difficult because the combat's exactly the same. Oof! But we gained a lot of experience from this. This is my first seed battles. Let's bet on me again. Oh god. Oh god, guys. Oh, thank you. Again, it's dangerous to bet because I'm so low on health, but there you go. Mullum Frostbeard. <laughs> we traded blows. Let's bet again. Oh, Graham against the veteran Falksman. Shit. Okay, I was 
clearly blocking up and it still hit me. Oh my Jesus Christ, this is taking forever. There we go. Ooh. Cool, we got the northern helmet closed. How good is it, I wonder? 41. That looks really cool, to be fair. Hmm. It does so much. It's, yeah, I'm going to wear that because it, it just has so much more armor on it. Let's talk to Mullen Frostbeard here, who I fought in the tournament. My name is Bledry. Tell me about yourself. I'll tell you, but I don't know why you'd be interested. My parents died when I was young. My sister married. Her husband wanted parents, my parents' farm. So he hired a devious man, a fast talker who knew the law well. He said, I don't even remember what he said in court before the council. But the council awarded both of them the farm. It did not matter much. I always preferred the woods. I made a better living shooting squirrels and rabbits than selling fur. And selling fur. But I've been thinking, maybe I want to marry. And I guess I need more silver for that. Probably more than I can get from the squirrels. So please, people tell me that war leaders will pay a good scout and i know the woods well that seems a reasonable ambition a good scout can command a high price i know the woods well and i can move quickly in them i'll tell you about a war party from the branches it broke marching through yep i'll take you 1000 you're in sweet let's get him some armor as well we've got the coin to spend so let's get him some decent armor and let's get all these prisoners out of here as well um right no not arena trade what's he good at first actually that'd be a good idea to find out character mullen frostbeard uh let's have a look good one-handed so he looks like he's a one-handed and a bow user of course and he's really good at scouting so if we go to clan let's make him the scout scout i don't know what these do really the quartermaster and all this all these roles to be honest so oh well okay so we want to get him a good bow and a good sword let's get in the long war sword we can actually give him this Highland Helm that I was using. Stitch leather shoulders. That looks like it's the only shoulder armor we can get. So let's get that. Leather and iron plate armor. And I know this isn't the best um, battalion armor. Um, so I'm trying to find the one that all the lords are wearing. But I haven't found it yet. So Northern plated gloves. And let's get let's just get him that plated up armor. Oh, we need to get a bow as well, don't we? Let's get everything before we give everything to him. Let's get him some good arrows as well. And we'll get him a shield also. Large round shield. A step war bow, 62,000. That's 16,000 as well. How good is the one he's got right now? He hasn't even got a bow on him. I was going to say, well, I wonder if it changed where the arrows were. So he can use all of these. This game is just a simple short bow because it's all I can really afford right now anyway. So That set him up. Look at how big that shield is as well. It will most certainly be protected in battle.
And then this is a better sword. Thank God for that. It costs money. Sweet. We set him up. 8,000, but it's worth it. Okay, guys. I think that was the bloodshed you were all waiting for. Um, okay. That difficulty. to Change it to that. Okay. Right. So that was incredible. We pushed significantly into Sturgeon land. We took a castle and two major cities. That's crazy. That is crazy how much we did in this episode. We literally went from, like, we. this was all Sturgeons at the beginning of the episode, and we've just taken it all. And they've actually taken that as too. And I'm curious if this is, if we're going to push for Ravel. Because if, if we get Ravel now and take this castle over here, we have literally just stolen up this all this land from them. And they've only got really far up north. They've only got four cities left then. And as we know, the Kuzates are pushing in as well. They're, look at that. They've got all these castles down here too. Because when you, when you zoom in, you see all the castles. I forget that they don't show the castles. And I'm curious if the Azariah are at war with the Kuzates. I'm assuming they are because there's some castles over in their territory. So... Let's have a quick update of the, the uh, kingdoms first as well and see where we're at. Owner of Omor. I don't even have enough run out to propose something. I'm abstaining. I don't want to... So no one's voted for me, unfortunately. Because they've got to decide who owns all the, everything as well. I forgot about that. Let's see. Look, we're halfway up to tier two now. Awesome. I might change that wool weavery back into a woodworks. So let's have a look at the, yeah, uh, diplomacy. So the Sturgeons, they're getting weaker. I think, I think casualties inflicted are actually the amount of, so on the battalion, that's how many we've lost, not how many we've inflicted on the enemy. Because that seems way too high right now for what we've just done. We've just taken three castles off them and we've killed a lot more of them than they killed us. And... You know, it doesn't seem right, to be honest. Because um, that's gone, that's shot up a little bit ever since we've done those sieges. So I'm just thinking possibly that, I don't know, maybe I'll check the stats throughout the video as I'm editing it. But it looks like that might be how many they've actually lost. Incredible. So the Batanians might take over the Sturgeons. You know, two absolutely, can't like, you know, barbarian absolutely ruthless like uh you know factions just going at it right now i'm just waiting for the counter to be honest to for them to come back and try and take omor and varcheg but we need to return to our land and regroup get some more soldiers and find out where uh, where we stand power wise anyway i hope you all enjoyed this episode i sure as hell did and uh, I will see you all in the next part. Goodbye, guys.